Hello. I gotta be back now. I hope so. It says that I'm live, but hi. Welcome to day three of Over the Garden Wall Island decorating. Yesterday, we didn't get a lot done. I'm going to be real. We did start, though. We made a big, big start. So I'm very proud of that. But did I overestimate or underestimate how much time it would take? Yes, I did. So let's just let's just go for it and see how much we can get done today. I really like the separate area for rolls and stuff. I feel like it's a great landing spot for new peeps. I'm so glad. Cause it's very hard to tell from like the from the like server owner side. Like it's very hard to tell. Oh, it it should have Oh shit, did I not change it? It should be changed now. Thank you, thank you. I forgot to press that button, but it's fine. Everything's awesome. I say. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna post in Discord so, so people know that we're switching over to Animal Crossing Crossing. I have to say that every time. Oh, lordy jeez. Sometimes I just clearly can't copy and paste my URL. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. Sometimes mod view lags, so it could just be me. No, I did, I definitely forgot to press a button. So don't worry, don't worry. Let me turn the light up. Feels like it's a little dark in here, but it is a bit cloudy. Oh, get back to work. I'm just kidding. Let's uh, let's turn the game on and see if it's gonna work. At the first try, <gasps> maybe. Oh, this is very promising. This is very, very promising. Your profile pic in Discord is so cute. Thank you. I think so too. I need to grab my controller. Oh my goodness, controller, come to me. Oh. Okay, I secured, secured controller. Um, let me show you what we worked on yesterday. What are the chances of meatballs? I'm so done with you. I'm so done with you. Also, the pic, my profile pic in Discord is a pic crew, actually. It's a pic crew. I should find it. I did it mad long ago. I should redo it, actually. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Mm hmm? The Pottsfield shirt is back. Wait. Gotta give Danny that shout out. Shout out, shout out. <laughs> Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Yay! Oh my goodness, I see the sweater. I see the sweater. I was rocking it uh, the other day. You uploaded the print file, so it's a cleaner print. Ooh, I was going to say that it looks a little different. I love it. Hey, Ghibli, how are you? How are you? How are you? Maybe I'll get the t-shirt. <laughs> Oh, turkey day. That's coming up. Oh, lordy. That's coming up in real life. Okie dokie.
Oh, I'm so cute. Let's go get changed first, and then I'll show you what I've been working on. Doing good. Just want to lay around under a blanket and play AC and H, but have to work. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Rebel. Become ungovernable. Okay, so I'm going to need a closet. Uh, uh, I think I could use this. And I'm going to need a mirror. Where are the mirrors? Is that in miscellaneous? I'm like unsure now. Oh, yes, it is here. Looks like I'm going to need a stool. <laughs> Isn't this just amazing? Um, today was one of those mornings where I contemplated why I have to work eight hours a day, five days a week for the next 40-ish years of my life. Who says you have to? No, but I I know exactly what you mean. What M said, it, those are the worst types. It feels like fall this week in Florida. The vibes are so correct. I love it. The only correct vibes. Nah. Actually, I kind of like that. I kind of like the, the block. I'll put that back. Okay, perfect. Hello, Beats, what's up? Of course we're still doing Animal Crossing. I pretend capitalism doesn't exist and I'm happier. Yeah. So, I was very pleased to see... Oh, let me turn the task list. I was very happy to see all of the fall theme designs that I have. And now I'm going to make an outfit based off of this new one that I found. I think it's so sweet. <laughs> so cute. Oh, oh my god, this is so cute. This hat still hits. Not the single cockroach just jamming around. What can I say? You know, he he's living his life, and I respect that. I want to wear these glasses, but the eyes don't fit this one in particular. So I'm going to have to come up with a diff different one. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> Adorable. Okay. Let's change the eyeballs. I keep roaches in a box. Say something. In a box? That's land plankton. <laughs> um... I'm trying to see what M said. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Did I miss something? Is there a chat? Is there something in chat that I haven't seen? <laughs> oh, oh, you're talking about. Oh, I'm so silly. You're talking about the roach. Big dumb. Oh my gosh, hey K-Bomb, how are you? It's been a minute. How are you? I hope all has been well. Oh. Am I cute or am I cute? Yeah, I was talking about roaches. That's okay, understandable. As one does. Thank you, thank you.
Hmm. Which hair? Which hair? Hmm. You know what? I'm kind of feeling this hair today. I have a New York City question for you. Do y'all really cover your drains when you travel? And have you ever had one waiting for you when you came home? Are you talking about roaches? Because no, <laughs> I've never done that. I finished watching Over the Garden Wall the other night. I absolutely loved it. <gasps> nice. Nice, nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you loved it. Okay, so let me, let me, I don't want to get too, too far into it because it's not amazing, but I grew up in a house that was infested and um, so this, this is, but that's different from what you were talking about. We had the, those, or have those little German roaches so they're not the large ones they're the smaller ones um there's flickering on the screen we never stop talking about roaches um but like i've never had a roach come out of the drain i've never had one like yeah, no, I've, I've never done anything like that. That's very strange. But, yeah. I keep seeing TikToks of New Yorkers covering their drains with tape or cups so they don't have roaches when they get back from traveling. Then they live in a very strange... I mean, no matter what, if you live in New York, you're going to have to like live with the fact that there might be a roach in your apartment like that's just that's just part of the deal um i have lived here for many many years not really but you know what i mean i've lived here f enough where did the trees go y'all remember i put a bunch of trees here right Um, but yeah, I, I've never had bad experiences. I only had like one or two really big roaches. The only way my mom got rid of roaches was literally closing up every dang hole in our apartment. You have dubia roaches so they can grip smooth surfaces and can't breed in cold weather. So I think I'm safe from an infestation. Dude, I think they disappeared because of the items. Because I tried to fill, fill it up with these. Dang. That is a little disheartening, but we'll figure something out to compensate for this tragedy. <laughs> so it looks like this really good idea was for naught. But, again, that's fine. Also, some of these trees grew when I was not meaning for them to grow. So, that's another thing that I have to remember to do. Um, so, let's get, let's get some proper trees where they belong. Mm -mm 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 -mm. When the spice doesn't spice properly... I usually don't have that issue, but I think because there was so much on top of each other, then yeah, that's why. Picture me looking at my manicured nails. Well, maybe if you weren't so spicy, things would, wouldn't wind up and disappear. Wow. I, I literally visualized it so well. Now I have to erase the image. Mm-mm. I need a few things. I am happy with the ink that we put down so far. And if you could see, we are relocating the woodsman's house to here. Oh my goody gosh. 
Okay, another thing we have to fix. That's fine. We are going to figure it out. For more accurate pictures, dirt under the nail. Oh, <gasps> yes. Felt. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Everything is cool when you're part of a team. <laughs> okay. Let's get back here. Where the... this? I love how I was like, oh, we, we did not get a lot done last yesterday's stream. And now I'm like, actually, we didn't get anything done because I have to redo this area. No, it's fine. It'll be fast. We're making a sky island now. Yeah, how do you know? Fly, fly. Re-anchor, re-anchor, please. I am very happy about putting the frog here, though. That is definitely something that I think was a better decision. So I believe I put a cedar tree here. It was definitely full grown. And then, and then I think I had a full grown hardwood tree here. This frog has so much impact on me. I mentioned it to Steven last night. Wait, tell me. Tell me, tell me everything. Oh, so we don't we don't have better t uh, better TTV emotes anymore. Also, have a good lurk. Have a good lurk, Cosmic. <laughs> Bye. God, I love that. I love the one that accompanies the command. Spin, spin, spin. Did my magic. Now let's see the trees. Yeah, dude, 7TV gave us so much more slots for free just to stick it. Literally just to stick it to better TTV. Like, I'm obsessed with that. Okay, this tree wasn't full grown. Definitely not. And neither was this one. So let's let's fix those. This looks like stage three, so I'm going to make it stage two. Yeah, new fave. So yeah, the drama between 7TV and Better TV, the Better TTV, is... Better TTV was going out of its way to, f to make sure that people couldn't use 7TV at, uh, emotes with... BTTV, which is why a lot of like like they would conflict and wouldn't work if both of them were running at the same time and now because that happened 7 TV was like yeah no look if you if you don't want to let us use or you don't want people that use better TTV to use our emotes then here, we'll give you a thousand free emotes. Like, literally. <laughs> so I can't download one and have the other, or I can now? I don't think it's about downloading them. You don't download... Oh, so I can't... Oh, I understand. You're talking about the extensions. No. You can have any of them but they still might conflict yeah like m has both i i want to get rid of better ttv because it confuses me sometimes like i mix them up mod log 7 tv thing is perfect for my nosy ass no dead ass dead ass Wait, this is too small. This tree wasn't that small. <laughs> that tree was definitely not that small. That don't look right. 
Oh my word. Okay, let's put a tree here though. I do know there was one here. And I think there was also one here. Maybe. Maybe, yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Mm. Can you put a mushroom on the piano? Oh yeah, I can. Wait, let me let me just do it to see. Let's do it. Will it disappear tomorrow? <laughs> um, usually when you put things on top of items, that doesn't happen. So no need to worry in that respect. Let me just put the trees down and then, yeah, I'll show you. Wait, am I big dumb? No, I'm not. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Hey, Zay, how are you? Um, so I think I put a smaller cedar here as well. So let me throw a stage three there, I guess. Oh, I need a refresh. What am I doing? The tree, the tree looks like a trap tree. A trap tree? <gasps> hey, see, pal, how are you? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to put a tree back there. I'm going to see what this looks like because I do want to make room for the decayed tree. Can't figure out how to get the extension. I do have fake nails on one hand. It's filling me with anxiety. <laughs> I just wanted to be that girl. I saw someone get uh, tips and I'm like, oh my God. Doing okay working and lurking to the AC vibes. That sounds good. Should we change the music or are you guys vibing with the jazz? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Turn the video game sounds a little bit up. Turn it up. Huh. So it doesn't look like they went on the. It doesn't look like it went on the the piano, but I think I know why. So just let me try something. This is the upright. Jazz is such a fall mood right now. Yeah. Tap tree or a trick tree. Oh. Oh. Okay, I actually love that. Okay. So I'm gonna just put this here. And let me check my map. Okay, so I'm going to push it. One. So now it's like on a block. It's not like halfway between. Crispy? Do they sound weird? Please do tell me if they're odd. I think there are sounds were odd because you touched the program. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Very true. Very true. I touched. I touched the butt. 
I touched the butt. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be sad. But I think it can. I'm gonna feel so fake. Oh, you can see it. Look, it's underneath. It's underneath. So the reason why it can't work on the grand on the on the upright is because the upright, the top of it, is technically not one block. It's half a block. That makes me sad, but it's okay. I'm going to get rid of it. And keep working. I think that since we know what we want the entrance to look like, I'm gonna keep filling um, up the space going to the woodsman's house. Um, I just want to think about how... Oh. <laughs> I want to think about how the flow is gonna be, because we'll be, we'll be here, but then I also want the path to go this way so that they know that this way is Pottsfield. Um, so, maybe I can try using this code. I'm just not sure because uh, of the mud issue, but uh, no matter what, I can still play this, see what it looks like, and then oh, I can always replace it. It's not a big deal. Thanks, Diana. Hmm... The mud issue? I'll tell you. I'll tell you the mud issue. <laughs> it is an issue indeed. Alrighty. So, this is the mud issue. I'm gonna go over to the other side of my island. And I'm going to show this area that I decorated. It's supposed to be during the episode where Greg, War, and Beatrice are on the boat with the frogs. And when they get off the boat, the frogs are uh, chilling in mud. So obviously there's no code here, but I did use a code originally. And it looked like mud here. And that was the same code that I used in the forest. And it's going to have to be the same code again because I have so many paths. I have this rock path. I have the cloud one, the fall one, the road one, and a snow one. So... We got a lot going on. Unless I use the snow one as the cloud one, which could work. Um, let's close off some of this water, because I'm not liking it. How many episodes? Oh my gosh, It. what is happening? There we go. Uh, there's uh, 10 episodes. It's around... It's around an hour and 10 minutes, or I mean, two hours and 10 minutes all together. So just watch the whole thing and like, the mud issue. TM. Good luck at your meeting. Okay, that makes sense. This is the most unnecessary thing ever. Oh my god. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> Let me start making a little bit of a winding path. I love that house there. I do like the house there. That's supposed to be um, Auntie Whisper's house. The ringing of the bell commands you. I'm going to start it further up, like maybe here. Because I don't want it to be too... I don't want them- I don't want any of the paths to be too close to each other. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll have it- hmm, trying to figure out how I want it to curve. 
I can make it go this way, like this, to the bridge. I would have to get rid of this tree here. Let me give myself some fruit so I can dig up this tree. Oh, hello? There we go. I'm going to have to reorganize my... Oh, I'm so sorry that I'm like this, but... No. I can delete those, I think. I am going to keep the best fencing, though. So... I just feel better when I organize it. You know what I mean? It's just it's just a good feeling. You were just looking at over the garden wall tattoos. Let's go. Did you find anything cool? Okay. I feel alive. A sound. I don't know if you happen to see me rant about this elsewhere, but today I'm feeling so defeated because of how dumb my work is. Yesterday they posted a list of things that are good work advice that were mentioned for a prompt we had at, during yesterday's meeting. One of them being, you are always replaceable? How is that good advice? Asking for a friend. What? Do you work for Abby Lee Miller? Be honest. I really want Adelaide's bird scissors with yarn entangled around it and maybe a birdie. <gasps> that would be so beautiful. I, I'm i obsessed with that. I don't think I finished my coffee. Now that I'm thinking about it. The morale does sound low. Are you in the position where you can maybe like begin a search for something else? You're always replaceable. Always remember that. Like, If I'm replaceable, then why would I work harder? Why? What type of incentive? Oh, we've been searching? Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of figured, but... Yeah, I'm glad that you've been on that search. It's rough out there, for real. Like, you guys don't understand. I've talked about, you know, the good opportunities that I've gotten recently. Um, the, the amazing opportunities that, you know, have kind of just come... Not, I, w I won't say super randomly, but like they've come to me so close together. And like, obviously, I'm so grateful that I <laughs> am getting these. It's just a little crazy, though, because when I think about it, the fact is last year in October, I left my job didn't work until the end or the beginning of February and then by March I was already out so like I've been without a job for a really long time like a stupid amount of time so in a way like it keeps me it reminds me that, like, you know, it's still 
it's still so fucking hard for everyone, regardless of what industry you're in. Summer is going Summer is going through it at work today too and has been looking elsewhere for a long ass time. Hey Anna. Yeah. Um I'm very grateful that I can do something like this to hold me up for a little while. The fact that part of job searching is being scanned by AI and if you don't meet the keywords they expect, you simply don't even get an interview. Oh yeah. I feel that. Ooh, okay, I really like this placement. Look, I'm walking on water. I'm like Jesus. Psychology psychologists are supposed to be in high demand and it took me so long to find a job I was I was okay accepting. It's not a forever job, but it's a job. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm replaceable then so is this place. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Let's pick this. Chat, be more de be more demanding viewers or streamer will get lazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not putting in more than my pay rate. Mm. Tarot reading. Oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. Is this demanding? It is demanding. How dare you? I'm just kidding. Um, it's so saturated with qualified people. Dude, if you look, like people are, are like, oh, like Meta had those um, job cuts. Meta has so many job openings right now, but they're all listed for people that have 10 plus years experience. Like, babes, who do you think is going to get this job? Like, who? Like, no fucking wonder it's open. <laughs> like, yikes. It makes no fucking sense. Yeah, senior positions are there, but it's like, how do you think you get seniors? Hmm. Let's do that math real quick. They already have- that's what I'm saying! Oh my god. This is exactly what I'm saying. This is so cute. Sorry, I'm- <laughs> The job market sucks. But oh my god, look at how cute this diagonal bridge is in Animal Crossing, all right? <laughs> so cute. Okay. Um, but yes, I am down to do a tarot reading, but I would like to start that now. Let's start now, sooner rather than later. Because I... Um, I've started timing them. I, I used to spend like 45 minutes doing a reading. But yes, I would love to. I'm going to switch over real quick so you can see me better. <laughs> um, and we're going to do a quick reading, quick reading. But yeah, maybe, you know what? Because of this conversation, I think it might be good. It might be a good thing, right? But if you don't want to get messages from the universe for any reason, then you can mute. You can leave, but if if you want to know when I'm done talking about it, it's when the cards go back in the box. So when I put the cards back in the box, then I won't mention it anymore. Okay? So just heads up. I, I'm not sure, Anna, if you were here for a reading before, but um, the readings that I do are community readings. They're not exactly like specific readings per person. Um, oh my god. Did you see? Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, they, they're more like for the community and those that are here now. Um, it's more like the, like, the freaking command we have. If it resonates, it resonates. 
if it sounds like it's you, then it probably is for you. But if it doesn't sound like it's for you, then probably have nothing to do with you. I'm going to turn this. It just sucks because you can see my monitor so well. What if I... <laughs> yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Now you can see. Beautiful. But yeah, we're going to see what's going on. I love how it says held a message for a reason. Aggra ag aggravation or aggression level two. That's so funny. Why are you getting so aggressive? By saying getting fucked up by the universe. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's let's start. Shall we? I wanna know what's going on with you guys. I'm convinced the universe gave me a sign the other day. I'll save it for when we meet up next week. Yes, and yes. I still can, yes. Just got back from my walk. Really need some insight. Awesome, Kin. Perfect timing. Alrighty. Mm. Oh! I didn't... Wow. I didn't wake her up. I knew something was off. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? Spooked me. I'm so sorry. Mm. Hey, Maddie. Very indecisive today. Wow, that's two two shuffles with nothing. This makes me nervous. Not bad, but like, why is she so quiet? No fucking way! Ugh. The same card I pulled before. Probably from all the yelling it did the last few pull. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you can see. You, and if you know, you know. Oh man. Okay, let's let's just pause here. Let's pause here because we have a lot of cards on the on the. We have a lot of car cards on the table. Okay, so we start off first with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> um. I so I'm gonna interpret this it's setting the mood and I am just gonna I'm gonna be very blunt with it there is someone in your life who you cannot trust there is someone in your life who you cannot trust right now that feel maliciously towards you that might lie that might you know feel bitter towards you know your success your accomplishments and things like that and it might not be it might not be someone who's outworldly out outworldly no that's not the word i'm looking for it may not be someone who is openly cruel. That's what I'm trying to say. They may not be openly cruel, but they may be the type of person that subtly puts people down, which I think they those types of people are more, uh, you know, those people I think you see more often than not. Um, but also, 
based off of the conversation that we had last time, you are in this... What's happening now is that it is time for you to stand up for yourself. You have to be clear about your wants and and about your wants and needs. And my interpretation after seeing the other cards is making me think that the person that can't be trusted is you. I don't think you can trust yourself right now. I don't think you've been making the right decisions for yourself. I don't think you've been judging yourself properly. I don't think that you have been clear with yourself about what you want and what you need. I think you're stuck thinking about what you have suffered and the hardship you've gone through. But you are still that intelligent, that that's intelligent, that clever person. Even though all these things you're you're so fucking good at putting yourself down you're so good at it and i think that you already have or maybe already on this the journey to break this negative cycle break this like cycle where something bad happens to you or something doesn't go your way and you know you kind of just default to this very negative mindset about yourself um but that's not forever it it's not going to be forever even when it feels like it is because there's something new something Something might be brewing right now. Something new that's good. Maybe you have a new like goal that you've set for yourself. Maybe you um have like new inspiration. You've been in, you've been uh like inspired to do something creative. Um you have enthusiasm towards something, maybe newfound enthusiasm. And you're getting excited because it might have been a while since you felt like that. Um, it might, f it might have, you know, you've been, you've been kind of looking for this new thing that's going to propel you forward towards, you know, the person that you really want to be, the person that's waiting for you at the end of time. <laughs> um, and this is why I said, if you know, you know. We got the devil again. We got the devil last reading as well. And I have a lot of the same feelings that I had before. I had a lot of the same. It, it all. This tells a story. It's telling the story of a person who has been, you know, that has been down. A, someone that's been dealing with. A host of things like mental health issues, maybe obsession, maybe dependency, maybe you feel powerlessness in your life or in any every aspect of your life. You might feel hopeless too. Literally, you are the person that always finds it hard to let go. And the power of your negative thoughts control you more than you think they do however the devil is a great great card because it reminds you that you are not a puppet you are not a puppet to your addictions you're not a puppet to you know the the things that you have accepted to be true you're never bound to these things forever and you can break out of it. It's the reminder that you are always capable of picking up all the things that you actually want to take with you forward and leave everything else behind. And I think once you leave those things behind, you're going to find unity. This is the two of cups and this typically 
is about relationships. It's about partnerships. It's about like soulmates, happy couples, and all that stuff. But here, this is you and you. This is you finding balance. The balance happens right after you face those things. Maybe you haven't been honest with yourself. Maybe you're the one that's been lying to yourself about the extent of your problems, the extent of your addictions and your obsessions. And in order to reach your new beginning that is waiting for you, you have to break. You have to first be honest with yourself. When you're honest with yourself, then you will reach that balance. Period. Like it's waiting for you. You're going to find new, new found self respect, unity, and balance with yourself. You're going to find new love for yourself. And you are going to value yourself more than you ever have valued yourself before. And then that's, that's where abundance comes from. That's where, that's where you get. The abundance that you need queen of pentacles again someone who's creative someone that can nurture others maybe the mom friend maybe you know someone that is capable someone that is capable and this i might be talking out of my ass here but when i think of the queen of pentacles i think of mothers Um, I think of mothers and my first thought, which is probably more bias for me. So if this doesn't connect with you, then that's okay. Um, this always gives me the sense of a person that has always wanted this sense of nurture from another person, but hasn't quite gotten that from the people in their lives that are responsible for giving it and now you are trying to not be that person you're trying to do the opposite you want to be the one who nurtures because you know what you needed and what you didn't get I need one more card. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Dreams. Man. At the end, or whatever we want to call it, the, un the, the partnership that you have with yourself, the self-love, the new respect you find with yourself, you become the mother or the nurturer that you needed for yourself. You become that person. And then that's where you find your dreams becoming reality. The opportunities will arise. You'll be able to pick and choose from dreams that you never thought would even be in front of you to choose. It's very, it's, this is such a good card. I love, I love Seven of Cups because all this is not linear. All these things that I'm mentioning right now, this is not a linear path. And the Seven of Cups reiterates that because you always have the choice. You can choose to start from here again and go through the cycle over and over and over again or you can choose something amazing something different something better something that maybe you've never done before but you're gonna get out of your comfort zone for sure okay that's it that's all i have that's all i got thank you for listening <laughs> um I missed a bunch of things. <laughs> I... <laughs>
Um, anxiety can really distort shit. Why do, why do I come back and immediate and I'm am immediately red? <laughs> Please, I just got here. Obsession and dependency couldn't be me. No way. Yeah, M. Devil is a great card for the depth of normalcy. Change can be good. Yes. Yes. The death. I said depth, I think. Which, Brutian Slip, maybe? The way my bestie is a mom and she's been helping me choose to nurture myself in ways my family couldn't do. The fuck? I'm walking out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> no, I feel that a lot. I hope we're all nurturing ourselves in chat. Me too. Because you deserve it. You always deserve it. And I said this last time. I said this last reading. When you are kind to yourself, when you are in a good mood, in you know, when all things are okay and you're not worrying, you're not anxious about anything, and you feel the calm and the peace and the stability, that is training you to feel those things, to be at peace, to be balanced, and to be hopeful in times that those don't exist. When you lack, that's when you need these skills the most. And I think that you need to remind yourself that the person that picked you up, that wiped your tears, that helped you move forward after every single time you felt like it was you were just finished, whatever that means to you, it was you. You did that. Not anybody else. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care if you are like, no, it was my bestie. No, it was my family member. No, it wasn't. It was you. It was you because it's a choice. And you chose. And you have to remember that. You did it. And you should be proud. Okay, anyways. Now I'm really done. Sorry. <laughs> now I'm really done. I'm really done. And I'm going to be playing some Animal Crossing again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see. My camera that fucked? No, it's actually fine. This is okay. Animal crossing, crossing, animal <laughs> crossing. No, no. Hey, Pidge, how are you? Welcome. Thanks for listening, more importantly. Thanks for listening. Um... You know, and by all means, if if this sounds like bullshit, then then it is. It's up to you. Thanks for the reading. Yeah, of course. Thanks for the redemption. Girl, why'd you turn around like that? Did I ask you to? No. I know I asked this yesterday, but I I was wondering if you guys have been working on anything new, any new islands and such. And if you have, can you please post photos of what you've been working on? Because I always need I can always use a little inspiration when I'm decorating. Even if I have an idea, even if I have the perfect vision in my head, it always feels nice to be able to, you know, get that little creative spark from what other people have done. Still working on your spoopy island? Let's go, let's go. I actually just started a new island earlier this month going for a pink theme. Also, hi, haven't been in chat in ages. Hi, it has been ages. What up, bye. Yeah. 
Candy trail, candy trail, candy trail. I'm kind of following the the trees that I've already lined up here, but I'm not going to be strictly following them. Maybe here and there. <gasps> you got married? Transed my gender? Not much? I'm sorry. Did you just say not much? Bitch. Congratulations. Congratulations on marriage. Same. I can't say that. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. As if I've never played this game. What else is new? Oh, I should probably have a little bit of it go this way at least and then back down. Hmm. Wait, have we shared hoorays? I want to hear the good things. Yes! Um, we ha I heard a few hoorays, but let's do it. Let's do it. Let's roll call hoorays. It is midweek. Do you have anything that you're looking forward to? Anything that has happened this week that you are happy about? Anything like that? What is this? What is this? Bell. Oh, it's the roll call. I'm sorry. Whenever I see that, I get nervous, like that I didn't take a break or something. You have literally trained me. Fucking like a dog. <laughs> How does it feel? I pavloved you into thinking dank sass. <laughs> yeah, it's break. That's what it means to me now. Fuck. I hate it here. But also, I mean, it fits. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Looking forward to taking myself on a solo date to see Killers of the Flower Moon on Friday. Ooh. That sounds very cool. It sounds like it's a band, but also sounds like it could be a movie. My hooray is my doctor up my anxiety med dosage again. We're on the right path. Hell yeah. That's a good feeling. Heck yeah. Oh, this is the wrong code. I didn't need this one. Again, pressing all the wrong buttons. It'd be like that. This looks like a long ass snake. I'm gonna redo this one. I'm not a big fan of this one. I think because they're all going the same direction. I feel like solo dates can be scary, but it's so nice to get out and do things with yourself. Yes, I went to go see a movie um, on West 4th, and afterwards I took myself to Red Bamboo, which is this fucking awesome uh, vegetarian restaurant. I think they recently went all vegan, but yeah, it's so awesome. Oh my gosh, I was so happy. And it was the first time I went to a restaurant, like a proper restaurant by myself. And it was very nice. I have to say, I loved not having to wait for other people. Like, I just got to do my own thing. Mm 
Mm -mm -mm. Helped my cousin and her dad get an apartment. Worried for my short-term credit score and financial future, but will feel good once they're in the place and have a roof over their head. Yeah, that is very kind of you to help them out. It's not always easy. But that is still very incredible. They were able to do that. I'm not a fan of this. It's a little too much. It's a little too much, too much. Oh, that's not at all what I meant to do, but okay. Sure. Oh, I didn't put fruit behind the trees. Okay. Wait. Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this properly. So, he pinches here. I feel like these should have stayed uh, small, so I'm not sure exactly why they didn't, but it's fine. I'll just plant them anyways. I'm also going to put one behind this tree. The piano! Led through the mist. <laughs> In the milk light of moon. All that is lost is revealed. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Our long bygone, bygone burdens. <laughs> Then why not pretend? Oh, how the gentle wind beckons to the leaf as autumn colors fall. That makes me so emo. Oh my god. Not emo, but like, not emo in the bad way. Emo as in, aw, oh, love. Give me one second. I need to open something. <laughs> Emo in the bad in the bad way. So me. <laughs> no. I don't know how I haven't been listening to this like literally the entire time, but. You can't hear it. <laughs> That's so funny. What? No! <laughs> I make ends meet. Can you hear that? Can you, can, can, can. Can you hear that? Da, na, na, na. <laughs> oh, that's where this was. I'm so silly. a tree right here. I think I could. Or 
Or maybe I should put it here. A little this, a little that. <laughs> ignore the... Ignore the... Ocean. Oh my god, ready? Banger. The best part is that in the VOD, there's not going to be any music. <laughs> That's okay. I talk too much anyway. Sing it! Uh, so good. So good. I wouldn't be able to tell you what that is, okay? Genuinely, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Hmm. Makes you realize how spooky some of the music is. Genuinely. Because, yeah, it's like, you know, there's beautiful piano and such. Have I, do any of you guys know a band called the Deer Hunter? Just wondering. <laughs> Nightbot? Oh, there it goes. It's like he defied you just now. It looks like he was like, yeah, what? And then did it. Wow, what a little bit. <laughs> God damn. What happened while I was gone? Did stream crash and then restart? It didn't crash. I <coughs> specifically <coughs> turned it off and turned it back on. Oh, thanks for the hydrate. I appreciate it. I need a decayed tree here. That's why I made this room. I remember now. I remember now. Oh. Did I like this one? Or did I like the other color? I mean, I like all of them, but like... It's giving jerge? Okay, but like, yeah... Anyways, um, I really want a way to block this off somehow, but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not going to think about that right at this moment, but it is something that I would like to consider at some point. Mm 
This one hits. Banger alert. Wait, do loop check. Oh, okay, halfway is fine. Thirteen <laughs> percent. I have nothing to say. Eighty seven. Who gave Aiden the brain cell? Kind of fake. I love that you can see the woodsman's house from here. Spare brain cell. Spare brain cell. I need some wheats. So might has been the highest. <laughs> no dead ass. Pass today. Yep, bricks. No! I mean... <laughs> the commands are not helping. <laughs> hey, M, How are you? Welcome back. Wait, did you tell me how you're feeling? And did I just miss it because I'm... I do that? At least I'm gay. I know, right? Like, God. What would life be? Yeah, when are you changing your user back? Asking for a friend. I'm more than half smart today. That's something. That's something. <laughs> Having a rough day trying not to have a meltdown. I feel you. I feel you. I wonder if I could move the house. I know it's perfectly centered right now, but like I want it to be closer to the edge. Let me just try it out. Why not? Ooh, I need to drink some more water. Had your big, big meltdown a couple weeks ago. I had a little bit of a meltdown um, t last week or the week before, but I knew it was because I was PMSing. Which really helps me. Like, I know that it's one thing when people tell you, like, oh, you're just on your period. And I used to tell myself that to belittle my, like, you know, how I was feeling. But in reality, banger in reality it helps me stop catastrophizing the issues that i'm being emotional about it's grounding yeah knowing you can come back to this later yeah i have family members who've been affected by <gasps> A recent distressing event. Uh, I'm mad about it too. Work is stressful, so it's not exactly a great combo. 
I hug. I wish I could pat. Again. Love that. Him. Go to the dunce box. Oh, infinitely better. Infinitely better. Oh, this path is going to bother the sh shite out of me, though. My mind. Oh, why? numbers too damn utterly obsessed with that one left the tarot reading got hella distracted by luxy tr dr truck driving so while you're up to now, we're getting back into the swing of things. And molasses. And candy rocks of potato. And molasses. Hey Maddie. Yes. Exhibit A. This is the uh when w water mill. I forgot about the command. M, how do you remember? God, you're like... I have no idea how you do it. Genuinely. Put a path on the right side. If the setting has a background bit in the show, you refer to it like that. Hmm. Um, maybe. Maybe. That could work. Meanie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh! Thank you so much for subscribing. Maddie! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah, 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 mwah. We know that it's not one month, though. They're stealing Juna's bread. Okay, you know what's very cute, Maddie? You know what's very cute? Um, during the first three months, you start off as a little cream kitty. And then you become Juna at month two. And then you become Tina at month three. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can confirm. I gotta remember, this is themed, was about to suggest a farm, but no idea what this place has in the show. A bunch of nothing. But I'm gonna put, like, an axe and some bottles and stuff. Ooh, the beast is out there. Ugh. Don't believe his lies. Okay, okay. Okay. For to burn. I kind of like it when it's just like this. I make ends meet. I work with my hands.
So good. Woodpile aesthetic, yeah. From off your feet, the highwayman. Now make ends me. God, I love him. Oh, I'm the highwayman. Been singing the songs from the Winnie the Pooh movie. I thought, you know what I thought of? I thought of the sound redemption just now. empty day. I should go through and make a bunch of new ones. That was what I planned to do and then I forgot. Oh, I supposed to put cherries there. <laughs> Married. It's a reflex. <laughs> so true. Same. Oh, ha ha. Diana did it, but then also someone else. <laughs> we were singing the Disney Channel music yesterday, and then I never played any Disney Channel music. Do I have to redeem myself? Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Bum, ba, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. Let's see. We have to put a couple trees here. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably put an oat tree here. Oak, not oat. And then maybe a smaller one. Mayhap she will. I had the that Winnie Epp on VHS as a kid. Which episode was that? Y'all remember that Barbie movie with that colorful egg? <laughs> <laughs> uh. What was that about? I just, I, I'm just, I always wanted to know. <laughs> Didn't really understand it, but it'd be like that. So M, a VHS is this big, Black plastic brick with a roll of film inside. <laughs> oh my god. I wanted that library. There was a library with really cool layout in that movie. Wait, really? Yes! <gasps> okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna find the movie. And if I do, do you guys want to watch it? Like, do a movie night for Barney? Because I totally want to do that. Oh my god. Ew. I don't know if I like this tree here, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Maybe, oh, I'll just chop it.
Find it, wait, in one of the friend's grandparents' house, right? Yes, exactly. At night. Oh, I love this song, too. I need to relax. Okay, is there anyone here that hasn't seen Over the Garden Wall and doesn't want to talk about it? Because I want to talk to you guys about what I think about Over the Garden Wall. Sorry, VOD watchers. I wanna, I'm gonna do Over the Garden Wall spoilers. They're not alive at the end of that series, obviously. They ain't alive at the end of the series. They're not. They didn't make it. That's my opinion. Anyways. <laughs> I'm firm. Firm. So you gotta have a gravesite on an island at the back? Yes. I have the... I actually do have that. Then walk to you. <laughs> Over the Garden Wall theory stream. Okay, so there are so many ways that you can tell that um, that there's a good chance that they weren't uh, alive at the end. And one of the biggest things is the bell that's still in Jason's Funterberger's uh, tummy. You can see him ringing it like this. And it's still glowing. Also, the song that plays at the end is literally, I believe that it's telling the viewers, yeah, um, we are letting it end in this way that feels hopeful and feels, um, you know, like we see them get rescued and all of these things, right? But they make it explicitly, they say it explicitly, the loveliest lies of all. They say, oh, so that's the ending and blah, blah, blah. I, I forgot the exact words that he says. Um, but hold on, let me see. I, I'm actually very interested in what he says at the end. Um, Okay. Hmm. Why can't I? <laughs> Why is it so much harder to find? I just want to know what he says at the end. Anyways, I think there are a lot of different, different uh, clues tell. that tell you in the series that they're very clearly in purgatory during their journey through the woods. And the beast is that representation of like loss and you know, I guess we can say religiously like the devil. Um, and the point is that like in purgatory, it's you can either go one way or you can go the other. And becoming hopeless is part of that. 
that's how you like sink down and down lit literally and then when we see the recap when they're hi hanging out in the graveyard you can clearly see the headstone that says Quincy Endicott on it <laughs> um which confirms that he during the actual present time of over the garden wall he's past I would love if they did an anthology type thing with different characters journeys through the unknown each season oh stop that would be so sick like genuinely I'm gonna pause this because it is getting a little spoilers yeah cyberubes you had time to see it it came out in 2014 why did I say 2014? Why did I say it like this? But it's true. Um. <laughs> the of a selection. Yeah, almost 10 years, which is so crazy. Um, and when we watched it, this is random. But when we watched it, um, I was letting you guys know that I have the comics and I still would love to share them with you. I'm just trying to think of the best way. I'm still trying to think of the best way to be able to do that. Like, is it where I show them on stream or I... I don't know. Do I make a video? Hmm? The best way is to mail them to me and I keep them. Uh, old Black Train's lyrics are very much these characters are passing on. I can totally see that. Wait, the way I can totally see that, you are right. I would wait. Hold on. I just want to see. Will you make the cliffs with a fence? And then river at the bottom. So, do you want to see what I did? I could show you. So, this is Pottsfield. Because remember, this is the revamp. This is not redo. Revamp. So, this is the neighborhood. And then up here is the graveyard, right? Right, right, right. This is over the garden wall. And there's the train and the water. Yeah, I went I went crazy when I decorated this. Yeah. I went off. Like your old DA. Yeah, you can visit this island if you want, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, very nice. But yeah, um, I can give the quick, quick walk around um, over here is there used to be path here. There's obviously no path here anymore, but this um, is Cloud City, Cloud City Committee. Um, and then this is all like kid core stuff. And then if you keep going this way, this is the old North wind. He was humph uh, Humphrey. So, uh, this house was like all dark. I remember this. God, it's so throwback. And then, na, 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 na. This is, God, I love, I love this here because you can't see it. I don't know if it just like disappeared or what, but this um, has or had a teacup on it. So it was the teacup, lowering the teacup in, or lowering the sun into the teacup. And then I also have like a hive because you know he said, give me a, a spool of silver thread. And that is a, you know, a web. 
And so I thought I could use a hornet's nest to look like it. This was Endicott's place, but it's a tent and not a house. Um, these are the two cents. I got no sense, no sense at all. Um, yeah, a lot of random stuff. I remember loving the schoolhouse interior and band stage. Oh, I completely skipped that, didn't I? That's over here. This is the the uh, uh, ch school charity for sc for school. The band stage. And this was the schoolhouse, but again, it's a tent now. Cries. Um, this is the tavern. It has Fred the horse. Anyways. Let me get back to the, the mission at hand. Fred the horse. With the with the strong New York accent, I want to steal. <gasps> Hi. Why is he so cute? Peter. Peter. The horse is here. Ah, oh, yeah, the horse is here. Here, Peter. I need some storefronts. ASAP. Hmm. So, the storefronts that I could use are the dark, or the, this is the darkest version of them. Why? Why? Oh, I have to restart. You just reminded me of the one TikTok guy, Jewish kid with the shirt, or TikTok gay Jewish kid with a strong New York accent. Oh my God. Wait, I'm trying to think of something he says. He's mad funny. I can hear his voice in my head. Let's see, let's see. Da, 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 da. I say they used to be ham, ham, ham free, ham, whatever. Humphrey? And uh, he's still on the island. His house just looks different. I'm not sure why. I would just binge all his TikToks periodically just to hear him talk and tell stories. I love listening to him tell stories. You know what I love? Oh my god, speaking of, have you seen those videos that's like, this is a New York challenge. What's your name? And then it's like, finish the sentence. <laughs> bacon and bacon egg and chicken over. Honey. <laughs> and then he asks what certain what certain slang means. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking awesome. It's so funny. Oh, that is so not close enough. Oh, why is this my life? No. No. What do I do? I could go for a bacon egg and cheese right now. I could always go for a bacon egg and get cheese. Oh, wow. What the... No, it does this every freaking time. And I thought maybe because it was in the water. This is exactly how I feel while coding right now. Look at him looking at it, too. What are you thinking of? Uh, <laughs> so true. He's a real one. I'm the highway man. I make ends meet. I work with my hands. Oh, like any man, I work with my hands. 
Bye. Oh. Perfect. I fixed it. If it doesn't stay there, I will commit acts that are worthy to be called crimes. It didn't go down. I just added another one that's more in front of the house more than it is next to the house. It'll disappear. I promise. Yeah, exactly. I said the old north wind starts to howl. No. Actually, no. <laughs> that kind of... That actually kind of works, not gonna lie. Because... His house just looks like it's extended. I thought you were choosing to ignore it. Uh, I wish. <laughs> uh, Let's see, though. I wanna- I do want to nudge this. Chairs, were you a theater kid? No, but I did do some- okay. I did do some art department stuff, like I built things, and I was in charge of ticket sales. Does that count? A chairs stuffed theater kids in lockers. What? The allegations. Wow. The allegations. <laughs> now to make up for it, they edit. Exactly. Gosh, you're just so true. Uh, I know, I know. The highway man, and I'm making me. I work with my hands. Okay, I need to get rid of this first. And then I need to figure out why this is not working properly. I'm the highway man. Oh, that hits. That hits, that hits, but it's gonna be on top of the house. <laughs> it's literally gonna be on top of the house. I know it's gonna be on top of the house. Is the music supposed to be on mute? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of getting a little... Uh... Overstimulated with the music playing. Mentally, I'm still at the loveliest lies of all because you blew my mind. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Allegedly. Why do you ask, Anna? Do I give off theater kid energy? I was besties with my art teacher, so that does say more about me. Not the smile, please. Not this, not this. Okay, see, it's gone. It's gone. I mean, yeah, but in a good way, because me too. Got you. No. That's not what I want to do. Huh. You were besties with their art teacher in high school, or are you mentally well? Was your art teacher a mother slash father figure for you, or are you mentally well? Besties with- I was also besties with my English teacher! Oh my god! No. I literally have letters of recommendation sitting next to me of what my teacher said about me in high school. Uh. Um. I wasn't theater kid because we didn't have that at my school, but it was always adjacent to it. Oh, I got you. 
I wasn't a theater kid in high school because the teacher was anti-anyone brown. Fair. Yeah, real. She's the reason I know how to write. Thanks, Miss Robbins. Mine, Mr. Williams and Mr. Hafker. Shout out, shout out. Love you. Would do anything for you. Excuse me. I literally, it's so embarrassing. I have a, such a big Tina hair on me and I didn't even notice. Like this fluff of hair has been on my shoulder for I don't know how long. But... I want to, let me, let me see. I keep it with my important papers because I consider it important. <laughs> I recently reorganized this, so it's going to take me a hot second, I think. Yeah, damn. And I make ends meet. Hello? Oh, I found them. I think. Question mark? No. <laughs> I'm the highway man. I'm making me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's going to be stuck in my head for a billion, billion years. Ugh. Which I think is understandable. So... Am I actually just going insane? Like, where did I put them? I wonder if I moved them. This is so strange. I better not have moved them because I'm not going to remember where I put them. <laughs> oh, you know where I probably put them? In a different folder entirely. Because that's the smart thing to do. I never had a tight connection with a teacher. Wait. Oh, I found it. I found it. I have one from my art teacher. Look at this. It's it's like an entire page. And then I have one from my English teacher. And Damn, I have so much shit. I keep all my papers from like when I went to uh when I was going from high school to college. So jealous y'all had teachers with respect for their students the way it should be. No dead ass. Dead ass the way it should be. Um my teachers spent time reminiscing about their high school years because that's when they peaked. I always felt bad for them and turned my work in on time to make their lives easier. <gasps> I mean, that's also real, though. Like, good on you, right? That awkward feeling in high school English when you're obsessed with what you're reading, but everyone asks too cool to do the reading. My English teacher was so kind, but a couple years after I graduated, she, oh, she retired and, <laughs> and joined an MLM. If I, I'm like, please, does anyone want to talk about Frankenstein or is it just me? Dude. You are so on the nose with that. My English teacher was like, okay. If only more students could be as outgoing and imaginative as me. I had the pleasure of teaching her in my English 11 class last year and now in my English 12 poetry class. When I saw her name on my class roster in September, I was extremely pleased to have the opportunity to have her and her unique enth enthusiasm again. Unique enthusiasm kind of sounds like a dig, but it's kind of funny. Um, her focus and attention during lessons is almost unparalleled. And besides taking the best notes in class, she is only one of a handful of students I have taught who wait for it underline favorite sections in novels and even write in the margins. <laughs> this young, this is a young woman who knows she is going to return to that work again in the future because of a genuine appreciation of the emotional and spiritual experience she received from it. Hell yeah. That's only paragraph one. Slay. Yeah, slay. 
<laughs> She's really good. She's really good. And in, in actuality, I was just so so not into any of the adult uh, figures in my life that the adult figures in my life that I actually liked only ended up being my teachers. I was just looking in my email to see if my English teacher's recommendation letter was there and in the email I sent her I wrote P.S. I love Pride and Prejudice. Do I look like do I look like? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's... I, I need to push the... The... Storefront forward by one. Does that look strange? I don't think it looks too strange. Only because, like... It's supposed to look like an extension of the house. That's not where I want it to go, but I can do this now and it won't matter since it's behind. All I have to do is place it like this and push it a little bit forward. One of the sweetest things, obviously the recommendation letter is one thing, but one of the sweetest things that happen is so, um, I was one of those eager students in, in English, as is obvious by the recommendation letter. Um, <clears throat> but there was one time where um, teachers offered uh, extra help, essentially. Help with, um, like, rewriting a essay or, you know... Um, help you work on like a first draft and and things like that so when I went to go schedule an appointment there was only one teacher that was available to help me that day and I never met her before um so uh I was I was kind of nervous but at the same time I was just like yeah I just need help with this thing and we spent like an hour essentially chatting and it was so nice like she was so so nice and I was like wow I can't believe I never had her as a teacher like that's a shame and the next day I went into like my homeroom and there was a book on my desk and it was from her with a little sticky note inside and she says I want you to have this and read it because we need more people like you in the world we need more Dorothy's in the world and don't get mad at me but I haven't read it I haven't read it I have it but the fact like I don't need to in a way like I never felt like I needed to at the moment because it was so meaningful to me that she had did she had done that. Yeah, and now now I have to read it. And yes, of course I have it. I have it. I literally can see it from here. But yeah, it was it was very such a kind experience, experience you know. And I feel like those are rare, and that makes me feel sad, you know. Having good teachers shouldn't be a rare thing, but also, I mean, in the same breath, we can say that teachers aren't fairly compensated even an iota of what they deserve for literally teaching the fucking world. Sorry, but how else do people learn how to do things? Huh? Like, I don't... Like, doctors and teachers sh should be in the same pay grade. Like, I don't know how they're not. Oh! Okay, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I need to put another tree behind the house. Two. 
um, because I think that will f also fill it out really nicely. May the roach rest in peace. <laughs> Did I step on it? Damn, I keep coming back to this area and wondering why I decorated it the way that I did. Because I'm like, eh, this is not it, sis. I could tell that because the, the, my house was one of the last things I decorated when I was doing my island. And I can tell that, like, I kind of, not gave up, but I was like, eh. My heart wasn't in it anymore. Oh, that looks good. I want these trees to be different colors. Why are they all... At least the ones over there are all similar colors. It makes me sad. Is that why I use fruit, fruit trees? Do fruit trees come in different colors? Because, like, this is green. It doesn't depend on the type of tree, right? It just depends on... Hold up. <laughs> now I'm confused. I don't remember if trees, like what dictates dictates the color of the trees is the piece of ground it's planted on or the type. I think it's just lottery situation with the color. So do you think if I were to remove that hardwood tree and put another one, it would be different? Let me try. I'm going to try this. Regular hardwood trees can be different colors. Maybe. Mm, I'm gonna try this. Are you guys okay with the no music? I feel very calm. Sometimes it really is... I don't know. Like, playing Animal Crossing and talking to you guys is like... You know my priority and sometimes having music in my ear is a little and because i'm using these like over the over the ear headphones it makes it more like it's right in my ear no matter how quiet it is so i put a different one and it's the same um so i guess i'm not going to worry too much about that however i do want to continue to put trees i need a frame I really want the framing of this to be nice, so I want to put more trees up here. Chairs, do you ever just... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Nothing? That was it? Oh, perfect. Okay. So we're on the same page. You passed. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Thank goodness. I'm sad I can't put a tree right here, and I think it's because the house. It has to be the house that's making it annoying to put there. It's the dumbest vibe check question, but I love it. Do people... It's like, I don't, I don't remember the last time I, uh, tried a vibe check. Is there a transparent code down there? No. No, like, I can't even walk on it. So, no. I'm gonna close up this waterway a little bit. Just because I know that it's not part of the, um this area that I'm building, but I just want to hear the sounds. Genuinely. I just want to hear the sounds of waterscaping. Oh my gosh. This is literally so... like such a random thought, but I've been playing a lot of Overwatch, as I have been mentioning on a regular basis. But for some reason, I can't stop singing Everywhere by Michelle Branch while I'm playing. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't. I 
have no idea why, but I can't stop singing it. And it's always when like some like there's a moment where like there's no escape. You did you did reference it the other day. Cause you're everywhere to me. And when I close my eyes, it's you I see. Mm. Fucking love Michelle Branch. Like what? She's so cool. Yeah, the grass does have a very nice crunch. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. So I can see. <laughs> is the is is Michelle Branch in the room with us? Oh my Every time I work on a puzzle tomorrow from Annie stuck in my head, I need to be studied. <laughs> it's the Michelle Branch in the room with us right now. <laughs> she did write all that. What's the other one? What's the other one? I know you know the one. That's awesome. Congratulations. That's a good feeling. Oh, I need to pick up all of this stuff. I don't like any of it. For real. Stop popping. Silly. Silly goofy. Oh, if I just breathe another thing that Everything is all right. Breathe and let me be. Bam, bam. That's the only part of that I know. Just breathe. Or, or you guys remember 2 a.m. by Anna. Na, 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 Anna. Starts with an N last name. Mm. 2 a.m. and she calls me because I'm still awake. Can you help me unravel my latest mistake? I don't love him. Winter just wasn't my season. Oh. Hanger, dude. I'm trying to think of a another part of that song, like the that song used to be on Twitch songs. What? It's so easy to sing with. Write it all down on paper, it's no longer inside of me. Threatening the life it belongs to. <gasps> Cause you can't jump a track, we're like cars on a cable, and life's like an hourglass glued to the table. No one can find the rewind button now. <clears throat> Seeing it if you understand. And breathe, just breathe. Oh, so good. How are you such an icon? How are you such an icon? You answer it first. Just breathe. Should we just listen to your 2000s playlist? <clears throat> I don't know if that's on that one. But it should be. You know why? Because I wanted to put only like happy songs on the 2000s one. You know? Wait, wait, what about, what about, um, oh my god, I'm gonna cheat because I'm, I'm so, I probably shouldn't say this, but at times I get so scared, 
when I think about the previous relationship we shared. It was awesome, but we lost it. It's not possible for me not to care. <laughs> and now we're standing in the rain. <laughs> And nothing's ever gonna change until you hear, my dear. The seven things I hate about you. <laughs> the seven things I hate about you. Oh, you. <laughs> Bro, I thought that song was like the hit of the century. Oh, this song is playing and I didn't realize. I want to get back to the old days when the phone would ring and if it was you, I want to talk back and get yelled at, fight for nothing. So kiss me. Remember the Disney version? So hug me. Okay. I just that's that's yeah. <laughs> End of musical break. Oh hey Lola. Oh my goodness. I'm studying while lurking, but I'm so here for the throwbacks. Do you know what? I'll play another one for you. I'll play another one for you. Uh I gotta find a good one though. Like a good, good one. I'm still looking for a good one. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay, here. Only the real ones know. Staring out at the rain, a heavy heart. It's the end of the world in my mind. And your voice pulls me back like a wake up call. I've been looking for the answer somewhere. I couldn't see that it was right there. But now I know what I didn't know Because you live and breathe Because you make me believe in myself When nobody else can help Wow. <laughs> Ain't no way I just read that. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I just read that. When I was eight, I pretended to have a crush on him even though I'm literally gay. <laughs> Uh, what's the use? I'm so glad I found it. Angry. I don't remember the words. <laughs> he's so, he looks so different. Obviously, he's like a grown person now. Because you live and breathe. Because you make me believe in myself when nobody else can help. My world. I thought that one was too obvious, Lola. Lola, I can't. I can't play the obvious ones. I have to hit. I have to do the deep cuts. I live. <laughs> oh, this part. Because. There's a reason why I carry on when I lose the fight. What you're giving me away. Because you live and breathe. Beautiful soul, but make it on that episode of Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Okay, I have to be so serious. I was not a big fan of Sweet Life. It just wasn't... Like, I saw episodes, but it wasn't, like, my show that I went to go watch when it was on. 
I did have a crush on them, though. Because you lit my world. That's everything. This I can't pretend like I know it. Ooh, that looks so good. The tree's back there. I live. So true. He's so real for that one. Okay. Now, really only the real ones will know. I swear. Some are jolly and fit. It's once a jewel. A work of art with its own queer design. Wow. Wow, I'm gay. <laughs> I love the best. Be your crowning glory. The most. Oh, not yet. Be your crowning glory. The most glorious part. Okay, Raven Simone. Of you. And you. And you. And you. Bro, what was better than the song when this movie came out? Tell me. Nothing. That's the answer. Nothing. The mattress surfing. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Lovely than others by half. The way it's playing in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I will be your crowning glory. Whole life through. The song is hard to sing. The most glorious part of you and you and you and you. This is the dance break. I remember the dance break. <laughs> that would be your crowning glory when they tell your story. Crowning glory, the most glorious part of you. Okay. Do you know the dance? No, not actually. I wish. Is Loki deceptively hard to sing? Yeah. Like all of the sound of music? I've have never seen. I'm just gonna leave it. This is our time. Oh. It's felt like I lost myself. Make you someone else. So things can change. You're not missing much. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's be honest. Okay, pause, 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 I can't think. I felt such a way that Break Free was in this movie because I was a huge Kelly Clarkson, Kelly Clarkson fan before it came out. And I was like, oh, Break Away, not Break Free. Break Away, I was like, now you bitches on this song? Okay. Break away. Speak about hard songs to sing. Break away behind those hazel eyes. These hazel eyes. Bro. 
Peak vocal. Peak. Oh, this is so good. This looks so good. I'm so happy. Breaking. You were soaring, flying. I've never seen that either. So, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. I was such a huge fan. Look, I'm, I'm... You're so right. I can't even fight it. You're so true. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Breakaway, written by Avril Lavigne before she was replaced. Dead ass. Oh my god. Evanescence. Don't even get. Don't even get me started, bitch. We'll go there. <laughs> um. Okay, so you know how I was like, it's not really Disney Channel? Because this song belongs here. The tide is high, but I'm holding on. I'm gonna be your number one. I'm not the kind of girl. Who gives up just like that? Oh no. Well. <laughs> it's the star side banging. Who gives up just like that? Oh no. <clears throat> My window's open. <laughs> no. No. I should take a breath. No. No. Okay, can I tell you an embarrassing story? One time I was in VC singing with, along with my friends. And <clears throat> one of my neighbors... <clears throat> who I'm friends with, came down and knocked on my door and said, oh, uh, so we're, do you think you can close your window? I mean, we love your lovely singing, but we're trying to go to sleep. That's it. That's the end of the story. I'm dead serious. The way he said it was so funny, too, because, like, he's like, no, it's okay. Like, we like it. I'm like, bitch, don't, don't. No, like, don't lie to me like that. <laughs> Feeling to believe in. Okay, I don't really don't like this bush here. To be. What time was it? Like eleven, which makes sense. It was like eleven. That's about time. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take a break. Oh, do I have to? Okay, I'll take a break. Uh, okay, let me take a quick break. <laughs> Can you play Hawaiian roller coaster? When I come back, um, make sure to take a break too, please. Make make sure you take a break. Get up, stretch, pee, get water. I'll be back. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Even with the music break, I think this is coming along very, very well. Hi, girl. Oh. Um. God, I can't believe you threw me back like that. So good. Turn it up, bestie. Is it not a lot? <laughs> oh, Logan, that sounds mad good. The silence. <laughs> okay. Amazing, spectacular, never been done before. Changed my life. So good. Hear, hear my, how crunchy my game is. You will like my island. I'm doing a Halloween island. Oh my god, please share it with me when you can. Tina. Tina. Tina, Tina. I'm not dressing up for Halloween. Are you? I feel like the answer is yes. For no, for no reason whatsoever, but I feel like it. Yes. Tina. Tina, Tina, girl. Let me play my game. I'm gonna be Ugly Betty. Okay, how exactly are you doing Ugly Betty? Because I want to know. Hawaiian roller coaster ride. <laughs> the red poncho look. Dude, I was obsessed with Ugly Betty when it came out. Like, dead ass. I was like, this is media. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, babes. She's so cute right now. You see her? I've rewatched it recently. Oh, nice, nice. I need to do a Betty, a good Betty rewatch. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually not going to, um,. Cover up so much of this. I realize that he, the woodsman's house is kind of like open. Like it's kind of more in an open field and forest surrounds it. Oh, with the exception of the tea slur being thrown around. Oh my God, dude. There is some movie that I was watching for the first time in a while. And like, I forgot which one it was. But 
but like whoever I was watching it with we were both like holy shit because we realized that they use they throw around the R word very liberally and it was definitely something Some more here too. Hmm? No, that's okay. Actually. Are you going? Are Are you getting the Mario Wonder Bros. Day One? Mario Wonder Bros. I don't think so. I don't think so. But I would like to try. Like, try it out and play. I'm trying, like, obviously I'm trying to make this very, like, wooded. But I'm also trying to not, like, overdo it so much. Because then, like... Like, I also, I want it to be true to the story, but I also want to, like, like it. <laughs> <clears throat> And as you guys know me, I recently have been just like kind of holding back on really cluttered islands and such. So, I think they did a good job with the trans story arc, except for that word being used. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. You're making me want to rewatch it. Oh my gosh. I'm very due. Peanut. I don't know why you think you can get away with this. Who taught you that you can get away with this? It wasn't me. A Hawaiian roller coaster ride. She's just trying to nap? No, she's just trying to take up space. Leave baby alone. I'm telling you to sail. She is so cute. You guys want to see her? That's a better view anyway. <laughs> a Hawaiian roller coaster ride. <laughs> oh, it's going to be stuck in my head. I hate it here. Oh god, that's not good. That is not... That's not good. You thought she was laying down. She She's kind of like laid. She's laid out. Not really. She's half lay. Her back is laid. Her front is not laid. Now she's laid. Cats are just so, they're so interesting, aren't they? <laughs> Tinar. Oh, F. The Hawaiian. Oh my god, I have to, I had to answer what my cat's names were, like, in the onboarding for my job, and I wrote Tina, and then in, 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 um, no, actually, I wrote, I wrote Athena, her real name, and then I said, but, but I call her Tina, because if you know, you know. Which I think is very fair. She's such a baby. Such a big baby. She really is such a big baby. Well, well, not that big. She's pretty small. But you know what I mean by that. Mm. Now she's getting real comfortable. I can tell because she did the swirl. You saw the swirl? That means serious business. <laughs> um. Okay. 
let me go back into my house. Wait, did I alert the Discord that we were switching to Animal Crossing? Yes, I did. Right? My memory is not working currently, so. Yikes. Hawaiian roller coaster ride. It's day three, and I'm literally, like, still working on the entrance. But you know what? It's fine. It is more than fine, actually. <gasps> you know what I'm going to put right here? Wait, why did this change? Y'all saw that I didn't... What? Hold on. <laughs> This is so strange. I thought that I undid all the all the curves that I made. Okay, anyways. I need to get some candy. Candy trail, candy trail, candy trail. Oh, actually, I have a path that I could use. Uh, or code, I should say, not path. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna have the, the code, like, kind of go in the direction of the woodsman's house. You unrounded them, and then you spice to put more down. When you came back, they were rounded again. The way that you knew that and clocked that is kind of crazy. The Hawaiian roller coaster ride. Uh. No. Oh. Ooh, you better beware. Ooh, the beast is out there. That's where this music, this music section came from. Candy trail, candy trail, can't- oh! Wait, I just had the best idea. I'm so silly. How did I forget about this? You have beautiful eyes. Should I put it there, or should I put it here? I think that... Mm, that, that feels funny. Mm, maybe I put it here? Oh, maybe like that. That looks pretty good. And then what I could do is, hmm, if I put candy here, I need to see what that'll look like. Oh, uh, shite. I don't think, well, maybe. Ooh, yeah. That doesn't look half bad. You have beautiful eyes. Led through the mist. Let me finish this path actually. I'm back in the I'm back in the path mood. Sometimes I just feel like Like I like laying path, but sometimes it just feels so like ugh. Like a little bit of a chore, I guess. Ooh, the beast is out there. Ooh. Don't believe his lies. Hmm. That's not where I wanted to put that. But yeah, I also need to get a collection of the candy items if I want to make this look even more like the forest. 
I just realized I could use other items to like obstruct. I don't. I don't know why I'm so picky. Actually, I do. But like. It just starts to get a little repetitive. Yeah, I'll warn you, dropping candy does create ants. Who doesn't love ants? That's how you get ants. The spoil, like the spoiled turnip stew. Yeah. I kind of love that. I kind of think it's charming. Like, putting ant, putting candy on the ground so that the ants come out is so kid core coded, right? Like, You better beware. Damn, Tina, get back in the better view. She has to sit on the mat. You see this? Did I tell you guys? Oh my gosh. So I have a lamp on my desk, on the other desk. And that lamp gets super hot. Like, to the touch, it gets hot. Um. So... I had it on yesterday because I needed some extra light in the room. Tina literally posted up. She chilled. She was chilling under the lamp and like cooking herself like a rotisserie chicken. She just sat there and it was so funny because like she'd keep her eyes closed like she was super comfortable. And she literally looked like she was on display to be eaten. It was funny. I was like, are you good? It was actually really cute, obviously, because everything she does is cute. But yeah. Conspiracy? Tina's actually a lizard. I forgot that lizards do that. I want a gecko. I know it wouldn't be a good idea, but I want a gecko. Ooh. Okay, I actually like the way this is turning out now. It's coming together. It's coming to... That's not. <laughs> and I'm sure that when I come back, I could also make it a little bit more. Leo, gex are easy. There is a ge type of gecko that I really think are so cute, and I can't remember the name of them. It's not le leopard geckos, not leo geckos. It's like, they're so cute. They're like flat, and they're silly, so if they drop their tails, they don't regrow. I thought I'd like that, and I didn't, so... Gator. No, 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 no. It's a gecko. It's a type of gecko. No. I swear, I swear. You know what I think is going to be really fun here? If I played with different weeds. I had a gecko growing up and it lived for a very, very long time. When you say very, very. When you say very, very, exactly what do you mean? I want a ferret really bad. Ferrets are so cute. Oh my god, do you guys know that, like, that content creator that has a bunch of ferrets and she goes, Goose in a macaroni. Goose in the macaroni. Because she has, like, a, a bin filled with uncooked <laughs> macaroni. So that the geckos can play in it? I didn't know. I don't know if people realize they live that long. Crested gecko! Yes, crested gecko. That's the one that I like. I just forgot the name. <clears throat> I need my mouse. I really put my life on the line when I let Tina sleep on this, you know? And I do it for you, because I know you love her. I don't, obviously. That's what she would tell you. 
if she could. I'm gonna put um like a jar bottle. Oh, I want an I want an axolotl so much, but I don't trust myself with um a semi aquatic animal um lizard or fish type of thing because I don't have experience and I know that axolotls need very particular temperatures and I don't I just don't know if I do a good job I just don't know if I do a good job and it makes me nervous Are there any bottles in the game that like look more black? Because it he has those jars that he tries to fill with the with the fuel, the oil. Excuse me. And I'm trying to find I'm trying to find a good maybe a jar would work. Damn. The glowing moss jar kind of hits, but it doesn't look It don't look correct. Are there any empty jars? Hmm. I don't think so. What if I were to just place it? I don't think. No. Maybe I should just keep it simple. Keep it simple. I also want to change this pathing path already. What jars of oil? Um, in over the garden wall, the, the woodsman... The woodsman collects oil for the lantern to keep it lit. Jarred mushroom. The coffee glass jars, dark brown. I did see that, yeah. Mmm, jarred mushroom. I'm gonna try the the glass jar with the coffee grind grinds. I guess I could maybe if it's like dark enough outside, like when I save it, it could be the move. I'm also trying to justify, like, why would he have it up here? Ooh, wait. Actually, that doesn't look half bad, but I feel like I should put it somewhere, like, here. You know? Because he's collecting it. You know what I mean? It's just the glass. The glass doesn't even look see-through, and I hate that. Like, it's blue. Why does it have to be all blue like that? La 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 Chop the wood to light the fire. Ooh. Wait, I like that. I like that. Mm, no, it's a dub. Can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I need to make this tree smaller. This is not it. Oh! What the heck? Indy, thank you so much for subscribing with Prime. Thank you, thank you. How are you? Welcome in. Anchor. These are the smallest. Te there are small test tubes, but I don't think any of them come in black brown colors. Oh, the test tubes. Sheesh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. 
better beware. I hope this song isn't stuck in my head. Wham. I feel like the trees are growing regardless. I know that that's not possible, but... I'm just getting a sneaky suspicion. A little sneaky feeling. Let's check it out. Like... These... These look to be the same size, no? Am I going crazy? I feel like I didn't... I feel like that one should be small. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I have to be more diligent about... planting the... Fruit right after I plant the tree because I keep forgetting. I haven't seen, but I guess you'd probably have the oil lamp out. <gasps> Wait, yeah, hold on. What am I trying to plant here? Um, this. And then here, I'm also going to plant one. Oh. Ah, behind this tree. Is this a small tree? No, that's full grown cedar, looks like. Okay, this needs one. Oh. You better beware. You just reminded me that there is. There is a. That tree up front is definitely full grown. So I fixed it. This tree I don't think was supposed to be full grown. And so that one. I gotta change right quick. It's not, that's not the move. I'm very particular about my trees this run. Hurt really up in my business right now. Oh my goodness. Look at him go. Oh my gosh. So I think that after today, I am going to... Like, next time we hang out, I'm going to be working on the neighborhood. Only because I'm just super excited to work on the neighborhood. I don't know if I want to uh, decorate in order. So, like, after this would be Pottsfield. I'm not sure if I want to do that. So, yeah. I think we'll figure it out together. I'm already thinking this looks so much more close to the way I decorate now. Right? Like, it's just so fun. Excuse me. I'll leave that to be full grown, I think. I don't think it started as full grown, but... Also this one? But it's fine. I think it's a-okay. Um, I do want to figure out if I could put, like, a sneaky tree here. Maybe. I feel like I could. I feel like it might be possible if I just believe. Run, 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 run. I'm so excited. Okie dokily. Let's 
see. Uh, no. It did not work. Where did it go then? That's so strange. Where did it go? <laughs> I've lost the tree actually. So, I obviously am missing something very important. Quite possibly the most important. Turn. Do you think it should be more in view? I kind of like that it's kind of it's like tucked there. But I'm also not sure. Cuz you do see it obviously when you come up here. Trying to make sure the flow is nice as well. It does feel like the trees are framing the direction you are meant to go in, which is what I want. It's funny because it feels like this is uh, obviously decorating over the garden wall island, but also laying trees, picking trees up and putting them down. <laughs> This tree is supposed to be smaller, too. I know it. I just know it. Um, I need to put one over here. Where would you go? Ah. The baby. What was I gonna put there? Hmm. Maybe a smaller hardwood tree? Let's see. I'm gonna keep running over that lily of the valley. Which is so funny because I clearly have it as a flex and that's it. That's the only reason I have it there, because it clearly doesn't have anything to do. <laughs> it has nothing to do with this theme. I just wanted to be like, mm, yeah, actually, I have a Lily of Valley. Okay, okay, things... Wait, no, I put a st... <laughs> Uh, I put a stump by accident. <coughs> Excuse me. How dare I? There's no way I did that by accident. What? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh. Hmm. You better beware. Okay, let's try this. At some point, I'm gonna put a pipe so that it'll take me just straight to the house. <laughs> For now, I'll do this. I just always forget where I put my pipe, as some of y'all know.
Okay, okay. Going the wrong way. A little. Oh, that's... Yes. This is it. This is what I wanted. Oh, no. I have to plant. Plant, plant this little peach. Back from the meeting, I remember the search for you. Oh, for your mailbox? Dude, that was so crazy. That was intense, like an intense search. I was like, how could I not know where my mailbox is? <laughs> it was so frustrating. I really thought ain't no way. <laughs> yeah, we were too hyped to focus, honestly. Oh my gosh, this is so coming along. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ah! Okay. I'm gonna call it stream Wanna here. Be fancy, hold your pinky up like this. The higher you hold it, the fancier you are. Broobs, is that you? Is that you? Um, I have to skedaddle because I need to eat some proper food and take a break. But thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out with me on day three of Over the Garden Wall. Redecorating. I'm very, very happy y'all have been enjoying it with me. Hey guys, thank you for watching today. Thank you. I'm just gonna start. I have to- I'm sure that's like a 30 year old man. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, what else? What, what else is my spiel? I have a bunch of links. Yay. Oh my God. Follow my socials there and you can follow my- follow my discord. Join my discord so we can talk off stream. If you don't, you're fake as fuck and you're a square. Um, <laughs> follow me on threads because I'm going to be more active there posting random shit if you want to see any of that then go do that uh, and yeah that's all that's all I have for you have a good rest of your day or evening I'll catch you tomorrow bye